A semi truck stolen from a family owned business in Kent County over the weekend. They tell Fox 17 they've been in the area for 25 years and never had anything like this happen before. There's obviously been a significant rash of stolen vehicles throughout our greater Kent County area. Um, you know, the key is Hyundai's. But this is something different. A stolen semi truck in Byron Township taken from the parking lot of Preferred Trucking off Gordon Industrial Drive on Saturday. Some point in time in the afternoon, a semi truck was uh, detached from the semi trailer and then the semi truck or the tractor itself uh, was stolen from the, the business there. Although car thefts have been on the rise in the county, the Kent County Sheriff's Office believes someone with experience operating a semi truck is responsible. This wouldn't be your uh, run of the mill teenager that's running around, you know, joyriding with a vehicle. There's a specific probably intent of why they're taking this vehicle and then taking it where they are. But why would someone steal a semi? Sergeant Eric Brunner says the answer could be as simple as parts. We often see that with catalytic converters. We have multiple people acting in concert and they're stealing uh, items and then reselling them. So is there potential that uh, taking a large truck like this could be used in some type of a larger scheme? Yes, absolutely. That's a possibility. We just don't know at this point. Right now, investigators are reviewing surveillance video for leads and say they have reason to believe the stolen truck may be outside of the state of Michigan. As far as potential charges, stealing a motor vehicle in Michigan is a five year felony, but stealing a vehicle for profit. If we can show that two or more people acted in concert and they're doing this uh, for some type of theft, um, and profit type of scheme, then there is the potential charge of conducting criminal enterprise, which is a 20 year felony. Well, as of now, officials aren't passing on any suspect information, but do believe this was an isolated incident.